Hey guys, this is Shane. Today we'll be talking about the request library in Python. The request library can do the following task. Making get, post, put, and delete requests, parsing JSON responses, authenticating with HTTP basic auth or OAuth, downloading or uploading files. Some of the common HTTP status codes that you will see when you're working with these request library is 1xx, which is the informational responses. These codes indicate that the request was received and understood by the server. 2xx are successful responses. These codes indicate that the request was successfully received, understood, and accepted by the server. 3xx redirection messages. These codes indicate that the client should take further action in order to complete the request. 4xs means client errors. These codes indicate that the client made an error in the request. 5xs is server errors. These codes indicate that the server encountered an error while processing the request. These are some of the parameters that are available in the Python request. The first one is URL, which is the URL of the request. Method, which is the HTTP method of the request. The common ones are the get, post, put, delete. Params, which is a dictionary of query parameters to send with the request data a dictionary or string data to send with the request headers a dictionary of http headers to send with the request timeout the number of seconds to wait for the response verify whether or not to verify the server's tls certificate stream whether or not to stream the response content oauth a tuple of username and password to use for http basic authentication Cookies, which is a dictionary of cookies to send with the request. Proxies, a dictionary of proxy servers to use. Now that we have a good idea of what requests can do, let's actually apply that in a Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and write an import request. For the first example, I'm just going to go to a website and get the status code to make sure I'm getting a 200 code. And as you know, 200 means a successful connection. So let's go ahead and write that. So I'm going to type in response equal to request dot get. I'm going to go ahead, type in my website in close parentheses, and I'm just going to write out the status code to make sure that I'm getting a 200 response back. Perfect. So what this means is we actually made a successful connection and the content if you were to look at that, it's just a, the elements of the website. So now let's go ahead and look at another example where we are using a basic authentication, username and password type of deal. So to do that, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and write in response equal to request dot get, and I'm going to copy and paste this URL. And then I'm going to go ahead and put a comma and type in auth equal to and open up a parentheses and type in user indicating that it's a username and then also single quote pass indicating that's the password. And I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now let's look at the status code of this request, 200, and the content is just going to say it's authorized. So now let's look at the third example, which is going to an actual API to capture the top rated movies. And for that, I'm using the movie database. You can go to this website and you can sign up for an API for completely free. You don't have to pay a cent. So once you have it signed up, then you can use the bar token from that website to do the request that I'm gonna be showing you. I'm going to add a new variable called tmdb bearer. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and paste my token. Now I'm gonna go ahead and write the request to capture the top rated movies. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of things that are kind of new. So I'm gonna create a new variable called URL. And in this, I'm going to copy and paste the following. And I'm gonna create a new variable called headers. And in here, I'm going to create a dictionary that has authorization bearer than the token that I created from the earlier step. Now I'm going to go ahead and write the same script that we did before. We'll just do response equal to request dot get URL equal to URL and headers equal to headers. Let's look at the content this time to make sure that we are getting the right data back. Shift enter and here we go. So we actually have data coming back from this request. It's that simple. I'm not going to be showing you how to parse this response. That's something we can do another time. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, bye.